What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today I'm gonna go ahead and talk about notes on iOS 11. So, if this video, if you're not familiar with iOS 11 and with notes and all the cool new stuff that you can actually go ahead and do with it, just pay attention to this video and you will learn a lot of cool, cool stuff, and it might actually save you money in the future. So, without further ado, let's just go into it. Now, the first thing I'm actually gonna want you to go ahead and do, as you see, notes right there. On your home screen is I'm gonna want you to go ahead and tap on notes and just press it down that way you can go ahead and enable some of your 3d touch abilities now you're gonna see the latest note that you worked on you're gonna see a new note new checklist new photo and also a new sketch this is actually really cool stuff new features and they're pretty much on the go so you can if you're in a hurry and you don't want to open up the the notes app you can just do that real quick maybe set up a checklist if you have to go to the store or who the heck knows <laughs> so let me just go ahead and close that we are just gonna go ahead and press on notes right here and as you can see I just created a, a little bit of a test just to so we have something to work here with so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and create right here a new note and let's just go ahead and uh, just type anything all right so let's just say I have that right there and let's say that for some reason I want to go ahead and just pretty much add a document to this note that I just created. So what you worlds are actually gonna wanna go ahead and do is you're gonna wanna just go ahead and press right here on this plus arrow that is currently showing you. You can actually scan documents, take photos or videos, photo, take photos from your photo library or just go ahead and add a sketch. So let's just go ahead and add do scan documents because this is actually fairly new. In the past, you had to purchase applications to scan documents and send them. So this is really, really freaking awesome. So let's just go ahead and try that out real quick. Just gonna press scan documents right there. Gonna bring up my camera here to something that I have. And it's just gonna go ahead and take a screenshot right there. And once it takes the screenshot for me, you don't actually have to go ahead and press it. I'm just gonna go ahead and press save right there. And it's automatically gonna go ahead and add it to the document that we had so let me just go ahead and close the keyboard there you go so let's say maybe you don't like that you see how it has a little bit extra on the on the sides you can actually go ahead and just tap on the document itself and it's gonna bring up this interface that you worlds are currently seeing from there you're gonna be able to maybe add another document if you press on the plus icon on the bottom left hand side let me just go ahead and show you right there by the way hello hulk <laughs> if you press on that one right there you'll be able to add more documents this is a pretty uh <laughs> you've probably seen this icon before this is just to crop the the document itself if you're not too happy with it it will actually bring this up and let's just go ahead and say and you don't necessarily have to like press down where the circle is you can press down a little bit farther away that way you can kind of see when it magnifies and you'll be just fine just like this right here let me just make sure this is up to par just because i don't I'm a bit OCD and I don't want to go ahead and see any out anything in regards to this. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the filter, if for some reason you don't like this and you actually want it to look like a photo and not just a document, you can press on this icon right here, which is just to bring up the filters. You can change it from grayscale to black and white or to just look like the photo you took. So whichever one you kind of want to go for, the color, grayscale, black and white, or just the photo I'm just gonna go with the grayscale right here because I, I pretty much want it to look like a document so once I'm done with everything there oh and if for some reason you took the picture sideways which I know sometimes we tend to do that you can actually just go ahead and press this icon right here and you can flip it just pretty much do a whole 360 with it or if you're not happy with the document then you can definitely go ahead and just tap on the trash icon right there but let's say I'm just happy with that document right there I don't want to do anything else with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and press done right here and then we're gonna go back to the note that we are currently working with now I usually do giveaways in this channel and I usually like to set up myself a checklist so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now to set up a checklist is fairly easy all you have to do is just tap on this icon right here with the circle and the check mark on top of it so let me just go ahead and tap on that and as you can see right there it just brings up an icon so I'm just gonna go ahead and put send gift card to lucky viewer and once I actually do that, if I actually finish that, and once I'm done with that task, all I have to do is just tap inside the circle right here, and you're gonna go ahead and see that it automatically check marks it right there for me. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. It it just works. 
Now, let's say for some reason you're working with somebody else on this document and you want to go ahead and add somebody. What you can actually go ahead and do is at the top right here, you can just pretty much tap on that icon with the person inside the circle and the plus icon and then it will give you options on how you can actually go ahead and invite them. You can invite them via text message, emails, a bunch of other stuff and obviously if you want to go ahead and share this document via email then you can always tap on the share button right there. But let's just go ahead and see. I want to go ahead and add something else to the document. I maybe want to go ahead and add just kind of like a table list. There you go. So once we have this table set up here, you can actually just go ahead and select the the square that you want to go ahead and type typing on. So let's just go ahead and say I want to start typing on this one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put hi and let's just go ahead and say I want to go across. So I'm just going to tap on the one across and then we're just going to go ahead and put hola then same thing on the bottom ones. We're just going to go ahead and do that right here. Bye. And on this one right here, I am just going to go ahead and put adios. There you go. Right there. So let's go ahead and say, give me a second. All right. <laughs> for some reason, it's correcting me. I, I thought I knew my Spanish. I guess not. Now, for some reason, let's say you got this backwards. Maybe you want Spanish to be first or English to be first or whoever the heck knows that you're working on. You can actually tap on this icon right here and you're gonna be able to move the columns just like i'm about to show you just like this that's all you have to do or let's just say you're not happy maybe you want this to to be in the top instead of hola and hi so what you can actually go ahead and do is tap on this icon right here and then just drag it up just like that and you'll be just fine so there you have a world that's columns right there all right so now that i'm done with columns i actually want to just go ahead and Maybe give this a title, okay? So let's just go ahead and go to the top there. If you didn't notice what I did, I just pretty much tap on the on the top and then just press return, which is kind of like enter if you're familiar with Windows. And I just want to go ahead and start typing something here. What should we name it? Uh, let's go ahead and put iOS 11 notes tutorial. There you go. I want to go ahead and highlight it. And the way you can actually go ahead and do that is just double tap on your screen or double tap on that word that you want to go ahead and highlight and I'm just gonna press that right there I'm actually gonna want to change the font maybe you can do that by going into this icon right here that is showing you the B I and the U just go ahead and tap on that and it's gonna bring out some information there but let's just say you maybe don't want to see that maybe you want to see it somewhere else so you can actually go ahead and press on the plus icon you can press on two A's the capital A and the lowercase a and there you go. It shows it a little bit different. You can change it to a title, heading, body, monospace, just like that. And you can also change it if you want it to be bold, a little bit slanted to the to the right, underline, or just completely scratched out. Whichever you want to do. And you can definitely change here on the bottom what you maybe want it to look at. If you want it to be center, then you can definitely go ahead and press this icons right here that I'm currently pressing. And there you have it. There you'll be able to just set up a title for your notes. Now, worlds, let's say there's something on this nose that you want people to really go ahead and see if maybe if this helped them out. So what you can actually go ahead and do is you can bring up once again the little plus icon right here. We're going to bring up this weird little looking pencil and we're actually going to go ahead and select from different variations. You can have just like a pencil. It looks like a highlighter than an actual. Actually, that's more like a pen. Then you can go ahead and select right here a highlighter. Or you can actually go ahead and select the pencil or maybe you don't like what you've written so far or what you do you can just go ahead and select the eraser right there and this right here will actually go ahead and let you kind of just collect a little bit of stuff so i made that weird thing right there i'm not happy with this so i'm just gonna go ahead and press on the eraser and i'm just gonna go ahead and erase all of that because uh, it just looks a little bit off and i don't want it to be worlds let's say maybe you're an artist and you want to do like a cool sketch so we're just gonna go ahead and press on the plus icon here we're just gonna go ahead and press as well on the plus icon and let's just go ahead and add a sketch because why not who doesn't like sketching on stuff right i'm not the greatest artist so i am just gonna go ahead and draw kind of like a weird little thumbs up right here there you go maybe i want to go ahead and change the color of the actual thumb that is a big big thumb with a square nail that looks more like a toe instead of a thumb but let's just say i'm happy with it why not i wanted to do just what i just pretty much what it is or maybe i want to turn in like a thumbs down but nah i want to go ahead and leave it a thumbs up so once you're done with it all you have to do is just pretty much go right here to done and it will automatically add it to your notes 
right there, even though it looks like a toe instead of a thumb, but oh well. <laughs> Now let's say you have this weird empty space in the middle between two things. You can actually just tap on that, it's gonna show up the delete option. Just go ahead and tap delete, delete the drawing. Well there you have it worlds, that's pretty much how I use notes in iOS 11. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Once again, if this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a big toe up <laughs> if you enjoy it. And as always, it has been the 7 Worlds Gaming, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy everybody. Bye-bye.